What's up guys? Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com. Today we're going to be talking about Creed Aventus Batch 16M01. So this bad boy was sold to me by um, one of my buddies who is pretty connected in the uh, um, fragrance community and more specifically the Aventus kind of like niche community. So he actually has several of these and he was willing to sell one to me at a very fair price. So couldn't really pass it up, especially because it's going to be good for content, which I still plan on making in the near future, where I compare the 16 M01 batch to a lot of different fragrances that are popular in uh, the industry and whatnot. But I just want to do a quick video on kind of my, you know, reactions that I get when I wear it, because a lot of people are expecting just vagina to be thrown in your face when you, you know, wear this. And <laughs> it's not... <laughs> Uh, sorry to burst the bubble, but it doesn't exactly work like that. And um, honestly, in terms of relative to other fragrances I have that, you know, fragrant, fragrance connoisseurs would think are terrible. Things that actually excel really well in the summer, like Nautica Voyage or Dior Sauvage and, um, you know, uh, Invictus Aqua and things that, you know, usually the fragrance... Uh, really like intense experts would consider complete garbage. Those are typically more mainstream kind of pleasing to women. And I actually get a lot of compliments from those. With that being said, you know, I still am sort of like, I still like to get, um, you know, the really nice, like cool fragrances that the fragrance uh, enthusiasts are into. So obviously I need to get a bottle of Creed Aventus and the compliments are there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say that it doesn't, you know, get good reactions. It really does. Um, it's interesting, though, because it's almost like the appreciation for the fragrance itself is almost like more, more appreciated by the male nose. It's kind of hard to explain. Like, girls like it. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, I've never got more compliments from dudes than with this fragrance and I get compliments from girls too but it's like dudes really pick up on this and really like it I don't know if that's why the fragrance community has been gravitated to it so much because it's like all a bunch of dudes who are trying to figure out what the best fragrance is and that's who's doing the voting essentially but uh um yeah lots of compliments from both genders probably my most like overall complimented from both genders not from women specifically but just both genders but um, as far as if it's, you know, worth the money or not, I'd say it depends how how much you like it personally. Because at the end of the day, a lot of your confidence is going to basically draw from how you feel when you wear certain things. So even if even if girls don't necessarily like, you know, the mainstream girls or whatever don't like don't like Creed as much as they like Savage or something like that. If you genuinely feel more confident and you feel, you know, cooler and smoother and more like, I don't know, uh, more unique when you wear Aventus as opposed to Sauvage, like many other dudes who probably it's probably getting pretty played out by now in a lot of areas of the world. Um, by all means, Aventus is probably worth the money, to be honest, if it actually like gives you that that feeling that's going to help you excel in a social environment that would otherwise be unachievable with some like mainstream thing that her ex-boyfriend has probably had. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's an individual preference thing. And I think it can't be overstated how important just how you feel with what you wear is. Cause you know, a lot of guys, including myself have fallen into the trap of you wear what the girl is most, you know, what you think they're going to like the most, but you kind of like totally avoid the fragrances that you feel the best in. And honestly, if I'm going to go to like a wedding or I'm going to go to some like high end event or something like this is what I feel best in and what I feel most confident. In, and that's what I'm going to wear for that situation. Even if I'm pretty confident that something like a, I don't know, a light aquatic in the summer might excel more. Um, in terms of just like sheer mainstream appeal, this is what I feel like feel better in. So that's what I'm going to wear. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to you. Just a quick video I thought was interesting because a lot of guys asked me about the 16 M01 batch. Their performance is really good. Longevity is great. 
Uh, the Siage, how uh, far it projects or whatever, quite good as well. Um, really sticks on clothes, man. Like for a week, for weeks, your clothes are going to smell like this after you spray them. Um, and uh, good compliment getter, you know. It's it's really expensive, but it could be worth it depending how, uh, how much you appreciate this fragrance in particular. And this batch is very masculine in comparison to a lot of the other batches and is the main reason why... Um, I even bought it in the first place because a lot of them, you know, there's the more pineapple-y batches or lemony or whatever. And then there's like the smokier batches and the woodier batches. This is like the masculine of the masculine batches and is, uh, I, I think it's worth it if you, uh, if you really just like gravitate to this fragrance and just feel great when you wear it. And not enough can be said for how important how you feel is when you leave the house rather than just how many sheer compliments did how many sheer compliments did you know like eros get on like a youtube video by you know jeremy fragrance or something you know what i mean don't get me wrong i still have like ultramal and all those fragrances that are heavy hitters in the compliments category from like the big uh youtubers in the fragrance industry but um there are still going to be a couple fragrances that i wear just because i feel good in them you know what i mean so anyways thank you guys for watching please like subscribe check out my blog more plates more dates.com Check me out on Instagram at more plates, more underscore more dates, um, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.